Jeff, 32, Lower Colorado. And my eyes had to pause because Jeff is a mess. I can already tell just from his picture and bio. Behind his greasy head, I can see his bedroom floor, or at least I know there's floor there because I see some near the door. His entire room is littered with cans and trash and clothes, and this dude just has no fat chicks in all caps as his bio. So like, even if his room was clean, I would still be stressed. Plus his taste in bedroom wall art is questionable at best. On the wall behind him, there's a poster for Fight Club, and the poster next to that one says, Wubble up a dub dub. Oh, he watches Rick and Morty. He must be so smart. Finally, a sapiosexual, but still my beating heart. So obviously I make the move to hit him with the left, because as tempting as this is, I think I'm gonna pass on Jeff, but when I went to swipe left, I guess I fucked it up, because instead of going left, Jeff's profile went up. Did I just get myself into a super match? I don't know how this works. I don't pay for Tinder. He super liked me, and I just super liked him back, and I'm pretty sure I only get one super like a day. I go to unmatch him, he's probably asleep, it's two. He's probably asleep, he's probably asleep, he's probably asleep. Ding, I've got a message from you know who. It's Jeff, we all know it's fucking Jeff. Jeff says, hey, how are you? And I don't want to be rude, so I say, hey there, Jeff, I'm good, how are you? Jeff says, how do you feel about horror films, which is random, but refreshing, let's be real, I do like thrillers. So I tell Jeff, yeah, dude, I'm really into horror. Jeff says, what's your number? I've got something to show you. So I send Jeff my number, I have curiosity. Buzz, buzz, bitch, it's a text from Jeff, he just sent a selfie. Jeff is rocking merch from the film Cannibal Holocaust, that that is a red flag, and that's because that movie's like a horror classic. It's one thing to watch it, but it's another story if you really, really like it, but you have to be a different kind of sociopath to buy the merch from that movie, and that's a goddamn fact. I'm gonna make that blanket statement right here. Holy shit, my phone starts ringing. Jeff is calling me. Is he dying? Who calls? Should I answer it in case it's an emergency? I mean, why else would someone call me at 2 in the morning? He calls me again and I can't tell if I'm concerned or annoyed. Jeff, my man, you better be on your fucking deathbed. At least it's not a FaceTime. I would kill him if he FaceTimed. I pick up and say, hey, and he says, why didn't you answer? I say, because it's 2 a.m. and you're a total stranger. He says, if I'm a stranger, then why do you have my number? And I say, okay, good point. I it isn't super awkward. He says, do you like my shirt? I say, you don't know. He says, no, about what? I say to the director, Ruggiero Deodato, I know he says, yeah, that guy is like my favorite director. I say, for real? Because he gave the green light to fucking murder seven, yeah, seven different animals for that film. That just makes it better. I think I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> for reference, in the movie Cannibal Holocaust, they kill a little muskrat thing with a hunting knife, and then they kill a turtle also with a knife. They also kill a spider, a pig, and a snake, and then they had to kill two monkeys because they fucked up the first take. It's deeply upsetting. I don't, rec I don't recommend it. Um, just say it. Back to the story. Jeff says, I didn't think you were such a little bitch, and I'm deeply offended. I watched every human centipede and didn't even flinch. Jeff, I'm sorry I draw the line at animal abuse. I tell him to fuck off, and he says, you need me. Need me for what, Jeff? My skin? He says, your eggs are dying. You're getting close to 30. You know what, Jeff? Just take my fucking skin. He says, I know you're angry, and that's why you're lashing out. Women only go on Tinder in a sexual drought, but then they only go for guys who are eights and nines and tens, and I hate to break this to you, but you're like a four at best. I'm at least a five, and I live by that. Live by that. I hang up really quickly, and I block his number fast, and then I go to open Tinder so that I can hit on match. He says, I'm putting you on blast on my Facebook page, so I go to his band's Facebook, and they're called... Lemon aids like the fruit and the disease, and I'm wondering how I got into this rabbit hole. Oh my god, I see a picture of my face with my eyes scratched out, and I'm extremely unsettled. But I kind of like the clouds. Don't give me shit, they have 18,000 likes. They opened for Mayday Parade once. I'm, I'm a little impressed. Like, just a, I'm, a, I'm just a little, little impressed. But in a hazy morning fog, I choose not to engage. I blocked his number, blocked his Tinder, blocked his Facebook page. Bye, Jeff. Then I was swiping through Tinder at like 4 a.m. Left, 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 I never fucking learned. Wondering why there are no decent men. Left, 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 left. When I suddenly got the worst idea of my life, filters off. Give me all of Colorado. Fuck it, right, 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 right. I was swiping through Tinder at like 5 a.m. Right, 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 right. Delete that 
shit and get away.